How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news video here for Halo. If you enjoy these kind of news update videos, please make sure to tap that like button because it lets me know I want to see more content like this. Let's get right into the video here. So, recently we've been seeing some activity from Marty O'Donnell with a little more Halo action on the side of things. Um, if you guys didn't know, Marty O'Donnell does have his own Twitter feed and these are just kind of connecting the dots a little bit on uh, his activity on Twitter going, hmm, it seems like this could be involving Halo quite a bit. And so we're going to try to connect the dots with this video. Obviously nothing's confirmed at the time of making this, uh, but uh, it's kind of leaning towards something about maybe Marty O'Donnell coming back to 343 and working on the music for Halo. As many of you know, Marty O'Donnell famously left Bungie with a, quite an awesome lawsuit that he won and because he wasn't getting the money that he was due and from Bungie and Activision so he left that company and uh, now he's kind of a bit of a free agent right now I haven't really heard or seen him do anything really uh, involving games uh, a whole lot maybe by maybe just because I'm only keeping an eye on when anything Halo happens and uh, I think something Halo just happened um, but so now right now he's a bit of a free agent and there's been some activity on his Twitter feed right here that uh, makes me think that he's coming back to th coming back to 343 to work on Halo. This wouldn't be the first time a former Bungie employee has joined 343 in their efforts in making a Halo game. Joseph Staten, who used to work for Bungie, recently joined 343 and Microsoft Studios in general a few years ago as a writer who uh, he actually did help write a new Halo novel, Shadow of Intent, was which was released released back in December 2015 and uh, Justin Satan also was a lead writer on ReCore which was released back in a game that was released back in 2016 but uh, so he's a bit of a free agent for Microsoft Studios but he also I'm sure has his heart set on Halo since that's where he he kind of became a became known was through Halo and so 343 brought him back on try hopefully with uh, Halo Infinite to try to you know get some of those classic feels back when it comes to uh, this game especially for the writing Especially for the writings, because uh, Halo 5's campaign writing wasn't exactly the best. So, with uh, Marty O'Donnell coming back to Halo is 100% possible in the realm of possibilities here. And so I want to show you some tweets that were coming from Marty O'Donnell that... If, if first one, I was like, okay, yeah, that's just kind of a nice one. Second one, I'm like, hmm, that's interesting. The third one makes me go, oh, this might be something. That's why I'm making this video right now. So the first tweet we're going to look at here was on June 10th when Halo Infinite was released. Uh, the Halo Twitter obviously posted out a video saying, get ready for you know Halo Infinite, Xbox E3 kind of thing. And Marty O'Donnell replies back saying, nice music. Now, I do believe that they reused the same music uh, from the Halo 3 announcement trailer, uh, so that, which was obviously created by Marty O'Donnell. And so that's why you'd see him go, hey, I see what you did there. So nothing really to speculate on that. I'm assuming that they probably just copied and pasted the same music. But then the second tweet here was with uh, Marty O'Donnell posted up a thing saying, Coffee time in rainy Seattle. <laughs> you, ne you never know who you'll run into. And then he adds Joseph Staten, who's on the left of the picture. Jen Taylor, who's in the middle, who does the voice for Cortana. And then you have Marty O'Donnell there on the right. You're like, oh. That's nice, and you know, people, you know, former co-workers getting together and kind of reminiscing about the good old days, I'm sure. But it's kind of interesting how Mario Donald would be in Seattle, but, and same thing with Jen Taylor as well because you know they I don't believe they live in the area and then just one day later Marty O'Donnell tweets out saying there was nothing random about our meeting. Now that's where I start to speculate a little bit right there of Marty O'Donnell mentioning to say nice music to you know Halo's uh, Twitter feed about the Infinite trailer which obviously uses the same music that he created for Halo 3 and then meeting up with Joseph Staten and Jen Taylor in Seattle where that's obviously where 343 is located is in Seattle and then you have Marty O'Donnell tweeting out saying there's nothing random about it I'm trying to connect the dots here and I'm seeing that well maybe Marty O'Donnell will come back and make the music for Halo Infinite. Um, I mean, obviously, I don't think the music has been bad at all when it comes to 343 side of things. I think it's actually been rather good. Um, nothing exactly, uh, you'd say, iconic, to quote uh, Henry Xperia there. But, um, yeah, it's nothing, I've never heard anything from them going like, yeah, nothing where I'm like, oh, that's awful. But I've never heard anything where I'm like, yes, this makes me pumped and want to listen to or play the game more. Nothing like what Marty O'Donnell did for Halo 1, 2, and 3. 
that soundtrack, all three of those soundtracks are amazing. I mean, I remember back in high school driving with my friend and he was playing the Halo 2 soundtrack CD that we actually bought because we thought the soundtrack for that game was so good. That's the only time I've actually ever really bought a soundtrack to either a movie or a game and listen to it for enjoyment. So what do you guys think about this speculation here? Do you think this is actually something that's real? Do you think that this is obviously evidence that Mario Donald's coming back to play, work making music for Halo? Is he just kind of gonna be you know, overseeing everything? Is he gonna be in the thick of things, kind of creating the music himself like he used to do back in the day? We'll see. I mean, obviously, this is all speculation at the time. I think that uh, ultimately, Marty Donald's not going to be like, making the music exactly, but he'll probably have some kind of senior lead position where he just kind of curates everything and just kind of makes sure everything's going to plan. I don't think he'll be like in the weeds, you know, making note for note how the music will go. Uh, but, you know, maybe I, like, or he also could do that as well. I mean, Marty Donald's one of the most iconic music uh, producers for uh, video games, especially for Halo. I mean, hell, there was the Halo challenge that people recognize the Halo oh, 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 so much that there was a challenge of it on Twitter going around social media because it's such a you know rememberable part of uh, the Halo franchise. And so, let me know in the comment section down below, guys, what you're thinking about this. Are you looking forward to possibly Mario Donald curating at least the music for Halo Infinite? Uh, let me let me know what you think about it in the comments section down below. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. And if you're new to the channel, want to hear more stuff about Halo news, Halo Infinite, Halo whatever, make sure to tap subscribe with the bell as you know every time I upload anything awesome to this channel, which is going to be every time. But yeah, anyways, guys, thank you for very much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't seen it, check out the videos on the screen right now. I do upload a lot of videos, and so I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.